Mr. Todd. Judy predicted it would be hard to sit still until Mr. Todd passed back the spelling test. She predicted right. She felt antsy as an ant hill. Drew jumpy as a jumping bean. At last the time came. Good work, keep it up. Mr. Todd was saying he walked around the room passing back tests and handing out cookies. Heart-shaped cookies with sprinkles. And he was humming. Mr. Todd never hummed. And he brought heart-shaped cookies with sprinkles. Not, e not even on Valentine's Day, which it wasn't. It had to be a sign. A sign that she sleeping spell or had done super duper stupendous on her spelling test. That would definitely put Mr. Todd in good in a good mood. In less than one minute, Class 3T would see that she, Madame M, have ESP, extra special spelling powers, just like Jean Dixon, famous American fortune teller, and spelling sleeper man. In less than one minute, Judy had her test back, and the only cookie left was a broken heart. Mr. President, something was not right. Her paper did not have a Thomas Jefferson sticker. It did not even have a president or a sticker. It had a feathery, musty, dusty looking old timey rubber stamp feather. A quill pen. A quill pen meant keep trying. A quill pen, you have more work to do. A quill pen was as prehistoric as a hippopotamus. At the bottom of her test was a note from Mr. Todd. It said, Tortilla has two eyes. Zigzag is one word. Judy did not see why Tortilla had, had any eyes at all. And zigzag sure seemed like two words to her. Who wrote the dictionary anyway? Mrs. Murray and Mr. Webster were going to hear from her. All eyes were on Judy. She turned fire engine red. Hide your face and your hands red. Big fat dictionary red. The sleeping speller was a flop. The sleeping speller was a flubber upper. The sleeping speller was a big fat phony baloney. Maybe Jessica Flock Finch got a musty, dusty cool pen, too. Judy knew it was supposed to keep her eyes on her own paper, but she couldn't help herself. She turned around. Jessica Finch beamed. Jessica Finch gleamed. Like the day she was crowned Queen Bee and got her picture in the, the paper. Jessica Finch sat that. She had her paper for Judy to see. I knew it, Jessica said. It. I got a Thomas Jefferson tricorn hat. A tricorn hat did not mean better luck next time. Keep trying. You need more practice. A tricorn hat meant hats off to you. How did you know us, Judy? Judy... Judy supposed to be the one predicting predicting the future, not Jessica Finch. I use my brain, said Jessica. Some people studied. Judy was green with jealous envy. 
and she did not need her mood ring to prove it. The class buzzed. They turned on Judy like a pack of stringy bees. Hey, what happened to the sleeping speller? The sleeping speller fell asleep. Judy Moody gave them all a Virginia creepy creeper stick. Hold on, everybody, said Mr. Todd the Hummer. You know that in this class we keep our eyes on our own papers. But Mr. Todd, Judy said, she told us. She predicted to get a hundred percent ten perfect paper. She predicted wrong. Nobody can really predict the future, said Rocky. Right, Mr. Todd? Well, we all play a part in creating our own future, said Mr. Todd. So in the future, I hope you'll concern yourselves with your own work, not the work of a person next to you. That everybody quiet. That got everybody quiet. Now let's move on to science. Take out your weather notebooks. Judy did not take out her weather notebook. She's comparing her paper to Jessica Finch. Judy said, Mr. Todd, I'm afraid you haven't heard a word I've said. I'm going to ask you to ask you to go to Antarctica. Antarctica? Antarctica was a desk in the back of the room with a map on top. Map with icebergs and a lot of penguins. And the sign that said, chill out. The sign that I as well as have said, in big trouble. Judy looked at Mr. Todd. He did not like one bit the Hummer. Mr. New Glasses, Mr. Crantai, the teacher who brought heart-shaped cookies to the class. He looked like Mr. Todd. Toad. Judy hung her head and walked to the desk in the back of the room. Jessica Finch was Thomas Jefferson. And she, Judy Moody, was president of Antarctica. Could Madame M ever predict the future if she could not predict one lousy spelling test? One thing she could predict was the weather. It was cold in Antarctica. Cold enough to freeze spit. Okay, said Mr. Todd. Time for the weather report. Who wants to be a meteorologist for the day? Any predictions? Weather report from Antarctica. Cloudy with a chance of never getting a Thomas Jefferson sticker.